Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we're finally going to be talking about the new album from Previous Industries, Service Merchandise. So some of you might be very surprised I did not cover this sooner, especially if you know who is in this trio. Video Dave, Still Rift, and Open Mike Eagle, the last of whom tends to make my year-end list with consistent regularity. But there's been something about his run in the 2020s that hasn't stuck as deeply as I've hoped. I got hints of it with this project last year, but the more I've sat with previous industries, especially once I finally got a full copy of the lyrics, the more I get the feeling he's catering to a very different niche than the more conceptual work of the 2010s. This is shaggier and looser and feels intentionally nostalgic, reminiscent of the playful times where you could just rhyme and throw together references and cool wordplay and it would be fun as hell, but also not a wallow in nostalgia. More shared language where those reference points connect people as time marches on and everyone gets a little older and a bit more self-aware for the trouble, where on a song like Roebuck highlights the quiet value of that specificity. And it's to the point where a number of songs here are named for defunct mall chains from the 90s, with the feel of maybe having been left behind and the open question less of blame and more now of responsibility, especially given now it can feel like they're only just holding it together as it is. Video Dave's verse on Babbage's stumbling through the wins and losses, it feels poignant, but the line on White Hen, probably the best song in the album about sitting on the dock of the bay checking my Twitter feed, it's goddamn bleak if you remember what that old Otis Redding song is all about. But all this only works because of impeccable chemistry. Still Riff's more methodical, pointed word choice, Video Dave's gently charismatic, conversational bass, and Open Mike Eagle's wiry, haggard anxiety, all with more melodic character that works considering how this album largely shuns any punchier hooks against the scratchy, sample-heavy haze of the production. And funnily enough, I think where more recent albums might have bounced off me might come most in that production. The majority produced by Child Actor, where every creaking sample and fragmented melodic flourish, it feels weathered against the spare rattling drums that don't exactly add much in terms of groove, leading to a much slower and heavier experience. It picks up the texture of memory where it's comfortable but often blurring together, as if they're trying to separate the memory from something profound, where if you're hoping that individuals individual songs can crystallize their ideas or themes or even just have a verse that really pops off the page, you might be left grasping at straws a bit. Or to quote Open Mike Eagle directly, only messing with people who know the meaning of things. And while that means I'm a little bit more forgiving of a couple iffy mixing choices, the drum layering on Braids and Roebuck, how Quelle Chris's verse sounds buried on Dominic's, a bit of a shame because I actually really like Open Mike Eagle's more driven verse there, I think the larger issue is that that the only tune I really liked was that closer, KB, with the vocal loop and the clap, and even then I would struggle to call it a great album closer. This project leaves you wanting more, but it's more tied to the feeling that part of the picture might just be missing. And part of that, it might just be a generational reference point. For folks who are a little bit older and just marinated in a lot of the older tones and references, I think this is going to hit harder. And even then, it's a very easy album to like for the loose hangout vibes, underscored by that lingering instability in passing. It's very easy to put on both for the surface listen and one that might cut a bit deeper, but it does kind of feel niche to me and just a shade away from the material I have really loved from these guys. It's certainly good, it's worth a listen if you missed it, just temper your expectations a bit all I'm saying. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like, share, drop comments, subscribe. Yes, I know I am very late to this. Unfortunately, this project dropped on a day with a lot of other albums, and I'm still not through all of those, and I was dropping a bunch of larger videos around the mid-year anyway. I am grateful that I finally got to it. I really wish it stuck a little bit deeper. It's a very easy project to put on, but again, I'm not sure it fully resonates as much as I was hoping, but... Hey, that happens too, and I think I'm getting closer as to figuring out why. Beyond that though, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. And if you all want to get involved in helping support the channel, or just be on buying merch, or getting albums onto my schedule so I might be able to cover them a little bit earlier, or hell, you know what, just yelling at me in my Discord, link to my Patreon is right over there. Don't feel obligated, tough times, I understand, the options available. Till then, I'm Mark. You're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.